This is Twit. Uh, Elon Musk has announced that the first human has received the Neuralink brain chip. Speaking of trolls. <laughs> His, well, his companies have a history of always putting the safety culture first. I don't think anything. Can be um, <laughs> Elon did not say anything about now. They they got FDA approval some months ago. Uh, the theory was that this chip would be put into somebody who had severe disabilities. They couldn't move or they couldn't see or, you know, and that there was this would be they volunteer for it in hopes of regaining some functionality. Now, Elon's not saying who it was. All he says is uh, that the experimental surgery went well and the patient is recovering well. Uh, of course, Neuralink has been uh, accused of uh, animal cruelty. They've killed hundreds of, uh, of apes and or chimpanzees in order to do this research. Um, the other thing that scared me a little bit, I did not volunteer for this, is that you get a surgeon uh, to, the first thing that happens, a human surgeon cuts a small hole in your skull. And then, and this is what scares me, a seven foot tall robot named R1 then does the ultra delicate procedure of suturing the electrified wires from the implant directly into your brain. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. do that. But no. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, you know, if it weren't Elon, I would say this is great because this, yeah. this could that someday issue, transform somebody's life, right? This could be a huge, if you're a quadriplegic, it, you know, this could be huge. It has the it issue. Has, it, go for it. Show that. Sure. Um, yeah, no, the issue, the issue with it is, is that like they, there's a lack of transparency, right? Like what they share about their entire process is really, really minimal. And it is an actual intra-brain, like the electrodes are going into your brain where a lot of the other types of neural links are just on top, right? They're just reading off the electrical impulses that they can. Are they less effective? Yes, they are, would be potentially less effective at the moment where the technology is now, but with it being Elon Musk, with it being that the trial is not registered at the uh, governmental clinical trials.gov. And so you're like, why? Why would that be if they have FDA approval and they've gone through the necessary and proper procedures? Are they not registered? Like, where is this being done? Is this being done somewhere where, you know, the U.S. government would not be that oh, that's thrilled interesting. about it happening? Yeah. And they have not given much feedback on the process on what's happening. And um, there's a lot of electrodes, which, you know, again, if it wasn't Elon Musk, it would be great. But like a thousand electrodes are inside of your brain at different parts. Mm, it's a, quite an invasive procedure. And do these, what do the effects of these electrodes have? Do they erode? What are they doing with it? You know, it, it could be absolutely amazing for people that are paraplegic or disabled or, you know, not being able to you know, converse or even talk to people. But yeah, it's uh, whenever there's a lack of transparency, there's a reason why they don't want to share the information. Yeah. I just wanted to point out that even if this was perfect, it worked flawlessly and it does exactly what they say it does. There's been a history of these types of implants that go inside of a person. Um, that means that you're not just making sure it works. You're not making sure, just making sure that, that it's doing the thing it says, but you're making sure that it happens, um, that, that it works flawlessly, or if it's not flawless, that you're able to fix it for the life of the person that has this in, in yes. their, in their, in yes. their body. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have to be responsible. So it could be a decade, two decades, three decades from now, mm. are they still going to be able to service mm. it? Are they yeah. still going to be able to find replacement parts point. for it? That's are they going to have point. the expertise or is it like all the other Elon Musk uh, companies where they say that's old technology, we're going to move on to the next thing. And then yes. maybe not maintain that same type of level of, of direction uh, uh, or, refinement um are they still going to be able to maintain the level of uh degradation that's naturally going to happen when you have anything in a human body uh mm -hmm. for the life of a person and that's the, that's the important thing even if this works are they building in a plan to make sure that it's working for the rest of the life of the person who has it in this spot in their body i'm yeah. not sure i want the move fast and break things culture anywhere near my human brain yeah Good point. Yeah, it, it just reminds me of the Black Mirror episode where, you know, the implant gets updated and they end up changing what you get to see and how you experience things. Mm -hmm. Our again, terms of service have changed. Please <laughs> well, read the Given following. how Tesla drivers have complained about 
inconvenient software updates and the driving experience changing when the software gets pushed out without their notification consent permission. Um, and given the managerial culture around Elon Musk's companies, do you really want something in your brain where the company is going to push out a firmware update without notice, consent, or troubleshooting? Well, ironically, um, uh, Tesla has yeah. just been ordered to recall almost every vehicle it's ever sold because the silliest little thing, the warning lights, you know, for the the, the blinkers, mm -hmm. the, the, the there's a, apparently the National Highway Trans Traffic Safety Administration has a rule for the size of the warning lights. They have to be big enough that you can readily see it immediately. And he made them too small. So uh, NHTSA has said you got you to, gotta, I mean, they could fix it with an over-the-air software update. You don't have to go back to the service center. Uh, but still, that's the kind of slapdash, like every other car manufacturer in the world reads the rules and says, okay, it has to be so big, make it that big. You could totally see Elon saying, well, you know, <laughs> don't you don't have to make it that big. And, and not doing it. And so that kind of slapdash attention to detail makes would make me a little nervous. You may not want that in your brain. Yeah, I'm just saying. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, The News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.